It's windy, bitch! Alright, you guys. Today, I'm here in my kitchen doing kitchen things. And I'm eating food. Because I'm eating a, a Baconator out of like any of the fast food restaurants. This is like the most unhealthy sandwich you can get. And I have an unhealthy addiction to them at this point because this is my, um, this is my third one this week and it's Thursday. So I'm either going to have a stroke or become morbidly obese. Either one I'm fine with at this point, honestly. But that'd be really fun. I haven't done a like a mukbang, which is like eating and stuff or whatever, in almost a year now. The last time I did one was on the Altered Illusions channel, which is a drag channel thing where we did makeup and funny challenges and stuff like that. So that's still up if you want to go check that out. It's funny, but I figured that I would do a mukbang with my Baconator addiction problem, because I have one problem. I don't even like eat pork, that's the problem. Is that I eat pork like once or twice a year, not for any like religious reason or anything like that. Just because I'm terrified of getting like pork burns and going into my brain or something. But I feel like bacon is so fucking fried that like you're not gonna get, you're not gonna get pork worms from bacon. But, Yes, I figured it'd be a good time to do some Q&A. Um. Biggest fear. So my biggest fear is actually um, being trapped in a burning building. I really like have a super huge fear of dying that way. It's like the only way I'm afraid of dying. Everything else is totally fine. But being burned alive is like, is like a big one for me. Don't know why. Um, there's a super huge fear of that. And that's also why I don't go to Godfrey's on Wednesdays because it's so many people in that club that I'm afraid of the building caught on fire that I'd be trapped there by those people and then we'd die in the club. That's the last thing I want to do. I'd be burned alive in a gay club. I'm going to go. That just sounds horrible, doesn't it? First time you were kissed by a girl, girl how did you feel and what did you think about it? The first time I was ever kissed by a girl, I was thir- I was 13. The first kiss with a girl, I was 13. It was at a school dance, I think in middle school. It was my girlfriend. Uh, her name was Tracy. And... The, like seventh grade. I was kind of confused. I didn't know what to do with it. <laughs> with it. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. My first kiss was a guy. I was 16 and it was in a McDonald's parking lot. And my friends, my friend wanted me and her boyfriend to like make out or something. And then he just like slammed his face into mine. And it was probably like the most awful sensation of my life because he had like all kinds of like facial hair and stuff and it was just terrible feeling. Also totally not consensual. What is your favorite and least favorite element of being involved in drag performance and the drag scene? My favorite part about doing drag is that I can just become anything or anybody I want to at any given point. And I really like all the costuming and stuff. I think it's just like the idea of being able to become something else. It's probably what's super fun. The thing I hate the least is how like everyone just like tries to, tries really fucking hard to be the best, even though there's no quantifiable best. Everyone tries really fucking hard to be the best. I just gonna like get them anything or whatever. 
like, they're sitting here, like, reading the fuck out of each other on Facebook, being, like, shady as, shady as a bitch. It's like, that's getting you fucking nowhere, bitch. It's just making people dislike you. What is one thing you regret and wish you could change? I don't know, probably some friendship choices, but that's really about it. I don't really make, I don't really regret a lot of my choices. I kind of like make choices and I'm just happy about it and I go. Why are you and your wife so perfect? I love watching your story. Um, I don't know. I guess like we just like been known each other for a very long time. We've been together for a decent amount of time. Just like we talk uh, through everything. Everything is a, is a conversation. So it's like, and we tell each other, you know, it, it's it's just like a lot of communication between us. Like, just everything that we're doing is, you know, communicated well and we work through everything together. And, you know, it's something we always say, like, you know, it doesn't matter what happens, we'll get together, like, we get through everything. And that's just, you know, how it is. Will I ever get to see you in person someday? Probably. I travel a lot for performance. You know, I'm booked across several states, so probably. If you want to see me out in your state, you know, harass your, your, um, Showcast directors and tell them to book me. One color in fashion that you haven't worn yet that you would love to wear. I've worn every color. There is not a color I haven't worn. Um, but my favorite color to wear is blue. I love blue. Um, it's just like my favorite color. I hate wearing pink, even though I do have some pink. It actually, it's funny in the documentary thing, the mini doc that I did, I'm actually wearing pink. Which is kind of funny because I don't ever wear pink. Can you do any gnarly party tricks? I used to be a sword swallower. But I had to stop. Um, because, like, the further into it I got, um, the less like swallow control I had and actually got like really bad to the point where like I swallowed like like almost an entire whole hot dog and I had stomach cramps for like four days are you performing at pride this year um I don't know maybe I've never been booked on Richmond Pride. Uh, I, I take that back. I did do Children's Pride for Richmond last year. But I've never been booked on Richmond Pride, even though I've I've, I've had I've been on the uh, main stage of Baltimore Pride, and I'm performing at uh, at a Pride party in Philly in June. You know, so I've done like lots of big Pride events in major cities, but Richmond never booked me for some reason. When did you start taking drugs? Seriously. Oh, that one's actually really easy. Um, I started taking drugs seriously when I was 21 and I won Bianca's Drag Race. Um, it was really like during that competition that I started taking it seriously because like I was like winning challenges and everything was going well. And the better I did, the more seriously I started taking it. And then like by the end of the competition, I was taking it very, like, probably way too seriously. You want the left side of my smear image? Alright, there you go. I'm gonna stop this video right now just so that I can do a little like shout out public service announcement thing. Um, I guess. 
If you guys like this video, if you like my videos, if you like what I do, please do me a favor, head on over to my Patreon. That is like a monthly kind of like subscription based kind of like donation that you can give to me as a creator, as an artist. Um, I have one, five, and ten dollar options. You get a shout out in my videos, you get uh, blog posts and polls, and then for five dollars you get video, like uh, the weekly video like vlogging upload thing that I do, um, which is sometimes like the full version of a speed paint or the full version of, of something else or like maybe like a blooper reel or um, maybe just a vlog that I decided to put up. Uh, and also with the uh, five dollar option you get a single entry into my into my monthly giveaway and then uh, with the ten dollar option you get two entries into the monthly giveaway. So if you guys really like me and support me, head on over, even if it's just a dollar. But I still love and still love and appreciate every single little bit that you guys give me. Thank you. Because I have to balance it out. You know. I just ate the most unhealthy sandwich you can buy from fast food and to balance it out. I'm gonna have a salad, because that's how food works. No, I honestly just like the salads at, at Wendy's. Like, have you ever had like a Wendy's salad? Like, I don't like tomatoes. But like, look how much salad that is. Like, come on, that's a good amount of salad. That's like a decent amount of salad. And you get all this cheese, and I really like the Caesar dressing there because it's like a lemon Caesar, and it's good. And I just, I'm living my best life, honestly. I don't know why I'm, I'm just I'm addicted to this like particular meal I don't know what it is about this meal combo like a baconator and a Caesar side salad I've been eating this particular meal combo at Wendy's for a very long time and just recently it's become out of control because I just can't stop eating it and then we'll do this okay so what I do is I take all my salad dressing I put it in the thing and then I shake it up. And it's funny because to this day I still meet people who when I do this, they're like, what? What's like being so fabulous? As fabulous as you. Okay, so a lot of people see like my, my like on what's going on with me online. And they like think it's like this like I have I live like this fabulous extravagant life. Because I'm always like in like pretty makeup and doing my hair and stuff and you know, having all these costumes and like cool cool clothes and I have makeup, like I get makeup like all the fucking time now. But honestly, if you really want to know what my real like day to day life is, I spend a majority of my day in pajamas, snuggling my dog, eating a bunch of food, and watching hentai. I'm kidding. I don't wear clothes. No, for real, I do spend all day playing video games though. It's just like what I do. Um, and, like every day I try and do something artistic. Like, like yesterday, I styled a wig. Sometimes I'll do like makeup. I usually do makeup at least twice a week. I'm gonna answer one more question because it literally just like popped up on the screen just now. Um, and it's actually not on the Q&A thread, but it's still a question that I'm gonna answer because it's relevant for future information for another video coming up. So I just uploaded my second Ipsy glam bag. I'm 
someone else has that where you tell them that Jay's a chini and stuff. And pretty much what it is is you go and you fill out a thing, like a thing, and you like you input like your skin tone, your hair color, your eye color, all that fun junk, product, product types that you like, product types you don't like, things you're interested in, things you're not interested in, and they make you this like custom bag of stuff. I'm getting these, I'll be doing a full, like, three months of products review of the Ipsy Glam bags, and that's what I'm going to be, I'm going to be like a whole video on it where I talk about my experience through Ipsy, getting the Ipsy bags, um, what I put in as my, like, the, the things I selected for the Ipsy Glam bag, all the products I got, and then what I thought about each of the products. Alright, you guys. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And this is all I have for you guys today. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, leave a negative comment down below. If you didn't like this video, also leave a negative comment down below. It doesn't get better. Later, freaks.